With us tonight, we are at the start of what will be a terrible week for your president, Joe Biden. His approval rating is already, already now at an 80-year record low. He's losing to both Trump and DeSantis in a head-to-head -head matchup. Uh, most Americans don't even think Joe is mentally fit to serve. Most Democrats, they want someone else to be president. And now Biden's primary challenger, Robert Kennedy Jr., is already polling at 19 and 20 percent in two separate polls. Now, in just a moment, by the way, RFK Jr. will join us live right here on this program. We'll ask him about Joe Biden, why Biden won't debate him. We'll also ask him about this. Take a look. Do you believe they murdered or were involved in the murder of your uncle? What, what have you come to personally? The CIA, yes, they were definitely involved in the murder. Wow, Robert uh, Kennedy Jr. will be here straight ahead. Now, of course, Biden's bad week is not just because of bad polling or a strong challenge from RFK Jr. It also doesn't have anything to do with the insanity at the southern border, which uh, Title 42 is now set to expire this Thursday. The situation, as we all know, is completely out of control. We have waves of illegal immigrants now lined up as far as the eye can see, just waiting to cross. Over the weekend, Border Patrol, they process, get this, a whopping 26,000 apprehensions, uh, documented 7,400, quote, gotaways, arrested a wanted felon, three sex offenders, and a gang member, and they also uh, confiscated hundreds of pounds of drugs, including meth, cocaine, fentanyl, and heroin. But Joe Biden, well, he says the border is secure, doesn't care uh, at all about any of that. He could care less about the border. Instead, this week, well, he's more worried about his wonderful son, Hunter, who might soon be headed to prison. Now, Joe is now beside himself. He just can't believe it. In fact, the big guy, well, he told MSDNC that Hunter has done absolutely, positively nothing wrong, although he never had a conversation with Hunter ever about his foreign business dealing. So how would he know? Take a look. My son's done nothing wrong. I trust him. I have faith in him, and it impacts my presidency by making me feel proud of him. Here's what it gets very interesting. Federal officials now reportedly, even the mainstream media mob reporting, uh, that they are now near an indictment on felony tax evasion charges and a felony gun uh, crime. But House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer is pleading with the DOJ to wait. According to Comer, Biden's DOJ is barely scraping the surface. Take a look at this. My message to the Department of Justice is very loud and clear. Do not indict Hunter Biden before Wednesday when you have the opportunity to see the evidence that the House Oversight Committee will produce with respect to the web of LLCs, with respect to the number of adversarial countries that this family influence peddled in. This is not just about the president's son. This is about the entire Biden family, including the president of the United States. So we believe there are a whole lot of accounts that the IRS and the DOJ don't know about because we don't believe they've done a whole lot of digging in this, and we have. All right now, Chairman Comer, he will be with us on Wednesday with all the details from that major announcement. But so far, it appears that Comer's investigation is focused on allegations against the president himself. And get this, according to a new report from John Solomon, we are now learning that a respected former U.S. attorney approached the DOJ in 2018, quote, on behalf of a foreign witness who claimed to have evidence that Joe Biden exercised influence to protect his son's employer in Ukraine in return for money to his family. The allegation states, quote, VP Biden and Secretary of State Kerry exercised influence to protect Burisma Holdings in exchange for payments to Hunter Biden, his business partner, Devin Archer, and Joe Biden. Now, if that's true, it might explain why Hunter and his business partner were receiving huge monthly payments in exchange for sitting on the board of that Ukrainian oil and gas giant without any experience in Ukraine, energy, oil, gas, you name it. And it might also explain why Joe, as vice president, he pushed so hard. He leveraged one billion U.S. tax dollars to get a Ukrainian prosecutor fired in six hours, a prosecutor who was investigating Burisma and his son for corruption. 
By the way, son of a B, they fired the guy. Now, keep in mind, a few days ago, Chairman Comer subpoenaed an FBI and DOJ document detailing a possible criminal bribery scheme involving then-Vice President Biden after it was brought to Comer's attention by a whistleblower. And make no mistakes, these are very, very serious allegations against the big guy himself, but will justice ever be served? Now, we have reached out to the White House for comment. They don't seem to like us. They, we never hear back from them. We're very nice people, too.